from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. 6.24 is the time. With so many states voting on legalizing cannabis, we wanted to share a recent study that looked at the risk of heart failure and stroke among people using it. Baptist Health cardiologist Dr. Scott, Scott Davis joining us this morning to explain hey, a little bit more about this. Scott, you're always looking at studies, recent right. studies. That's what we talk about a lot with you here. And this is one that is pretty timely, especially considering right. the passing of the legislation here in Arkansas on medical cannabis. Right. So decriminalization of cannabis and marijuana is continuing to grow. I mean, what are we like at 28 states yeah. now, I believe, in the District of Columbia. And so the issue is, what is going to be the, what is the impact in, for what I do for a living uh, on your heart? Interesting uh, study was published and was presented at the most recent American College of Cardiology meeting back in March, looking at a retrospective study of some 300,000 users wow. of cannabis. That's a lot of people. It is, and it looked at age ranges from 18 to 55, so you know, kind of not not older folk, yeah. and looking at then risk. And across the board, there was an increased risk of heart failure, stroke coronary disease, uh, you know, across the board compared to non-users. Really? And also an increased risk of hypertension, obesity, alcohol use compared to non-users if you look at the cannabis group versus the non-cannabis group. Okay. And so what it is saying to us is that, you know, there may be something else in this that we need to continue to un unpack and, 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 and look at more more closely. Uh, you know, the, probably the stereotype has always been, uh, especially of the cannabis users, but I don't do it that much. Or it's different than smoking cigarettes. Well, we're maybe starting to see that there is some impact on your health as far as uh, looking at heart risk and heart disease. Even if you look at that group, the, the people that did the study, they, they then factored out, they did a multivariate analysis, which is a statistical way to then factor out the usual risk factors for heart issues. Okay, like we talk about all the time. Yeah. All right. So even if you do that, it, heart, uh, heart failure and stroke were still significantly increased in the cannabis group. So it's gonna it's gonna probably prompt more studies. Yeah. That study was looking at folks in 2009-2010 data. Well, only 14 states back then had it legalized. So as more states have it legalized, I think it's gonna then prompt more studies in looking at the true health impact because look, you and I were just talking off air. I mean, marijuana is not going to go away. No, you know, it's, it's, gonna it's expanding. Be, absolutely. Yeah. It's going to continue to be decriminalized in more and more states. And so it's probably going to prompt more studies. But this notion that, well, smoking marijuana or, you know, uh, that, that cannabis is different than tobacco, uh, I think we need to look at that a little more closely. And they're going to. Certainly some health benefits have been research of cannabis and the oils and, and medical purposes. But this is, true. this is a study that's showing some drawbacks, uh, at least in, and, in a certain and we just form. Need to have so, a little yeah. more objective evaluation, and more studies will be coming, no yeah, doubt. A lot more, especially as more states, as Absolutely. you mentioned, Absolutely. Uh, legalize it or decriminalize it. That's so, right. Scott, thank you as always Good for see coming. You, man. Good to Have see you, week. buddy. Hey, there's the information for the Baptist Health Helpline. If you want to contact them for any reason, it is 1-888-BAPTIST.